Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to Mist Survival. So from what I've seen, because I've been watching, like checking the game out every now and then for the past couple of days, Mist Survival is a single player zombie survival game. I know it's a shame that it's a single player and not multiplayer, but it is what it is. It looks extremely interesting. It looks quite difficult, and that's why I'm excited. That's why that's why I've come to it. It looks like a, a decent, difficult zombie survival game. Um, so if you die in the game and you come back at your base, you respawn at your base, but you lose some of your equipment. So I'm going to be taking the next step. If I die in the game, then I will be deleting that character, and that will be the end of the series. Because you know why not? <laughs> You've got to make it a little bit harder, haven't you? So, just so you know, obviously we're doing this. I have took 30 minutes of my time to play the game before this recording, just so I can get a base understanding of the game. So, I've, I've got a pretty good idea now. I've had a couple of zombie fights and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, we're going to start a new game right now. If I can hit 30 likes on this video, then I'll take it as a sign that you want to keep... You want to see more videos and i'll keep doing them but here it is guys miss survival permadeath mode let's do this Yo, how are we doing guys? There we go. Alright, so like I said, I have played for 30 minutes before just to get a quick understanding of the game. Uh, this is my starting base, but I'm not going to be using this because like I said, if I die, I'm going to be deleting the character. This is going to be a perma permadeath game mode. Grab some stones and stuff. There we go. Could use these later. But anyway, yeah, we're just going to have a quick run around, see what we can find, find a good starting area to loot up, and then we're just going to move on. So, uh, I think I'll head this away. Looks like a campsite. So, I'm not just going to run in blindly, because the zombies do a lot of damage on this game. Uh, I went to a farmhouse when I was doing my test. Like, you know, just to learn the game a little bit, and I got into a fist fight with one, and by the end of it, I was literally 1 HP. I think we're, I think we're good. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, got into a fist fight with a zombie. One HP me. I looked at my health. I seen that it was one HP, and I thought, wait, there's no way. Like, you know, is my health nice? Is my health bugged out or something? And then um, then another zombie run out, hit me once, and I died. I was like, no, it was one HP. <laughs> there we go. You know what I mean? It's, it is difficult. It's a very difficult game. And um, I really like that about it. Put some of this stuff on here. It gives us more inventory space. I love how he holds the um how he holds the bayonet on this game. It kinda reminds me of Delro from The Walking Dead. I've been watching that again lately. It's a really good uh, really good uh, TV program. I've just got back onto season three. See a uh, building in background there. Yeah, let's run up there. Let's go and check that place out. All right, let's check this place out. Feel a bit more confident now I've got a melee weapon, like a knife and stuff. Nine mil ammo, nice. Um, because yeah, like I said earlier on, I was only using my fist. But the game, the game is good from what I've played. Like it seems really decent. Like I said, I don't have much of an understanding on it yet, but obviously we'll figure it out as we go along together. You know what I mean? Definitely take that. Bandage, hell yeah, let's go. Some rifle ammo, nice. Now I just need a rifle, and we're good. Our battery, let's go. 
Wanna get a car set up? A gun? Oh, nice. There's nothing here. Yo, let's get this set up. How many bullets have I got? Four. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, that's a decent start. Yeah, man. Fucking awesome. Let's go. Oh, right, right. So this can actually be turned into a base. You know, because it's got this little symbol here. I mean, this can be turned into a base. Got a hammer here. I'm going to need that. Later on. To be fair, this is actually pretty good timing because I'm out of inventory space. So, um, I don't know whether to make this a base or not. There's some water there, combat knife, there's another axe outside. I don't really want to make this place a base, but... I don't know out of all this stuff what I'm gonna need. Like, I don't need the rocks, I can find them again. I think what I'll do is I'll leave some stuff here that I think might not be important. I should be able to find it again. But then if I do need it, I know where to come for it. You know what I mean? I'll keep the ammo on me. Keep the food. What is that? Matches. Keep the matches. May as well keep... No, I'll put them away. I'm going to check this car real quick. I'm going to search this. That was a farm down road. We'll check that place out. Not too far from here. Alright, so I'm gonna sit quickly loot up this farm so we can find here. Hopefully something nice. Oh no. Oh no, the mist. <laughs> Try and get in this house. What's all this for? Sleeping bag. Alright. Ten rags, six feathers. I'd actually like to make that. Can I make that? I'm hoping I can make this place as my base. This would be perfect. Alright, looks like we got first encounter, boys. Wish me luck. How much damage he did! Oh my days! There's quite a few of them here. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I don't want the. Uh, this could be end of the series. <laughs> First episode. Oh, he died. He died. A booze. Take that. Make a bandage out of it. Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, I'm quite badly injured.
Luckily, I had two bandages on me. Just gotta wait for this bleeding to stop. I'm not gonna lie to you, I actually don't know how to get my health up. <laughs> I think I just have to wait for the, both of the wounds to heal. Like, look at that, I'm on 20 HP. I told you this game's so difficult. <laughs> I'm on 20 HP. Got some more ammo. That's brilliant. I love the looting on this game. I kind of want to get into a room upstairs or something and barricade myself in. Alright, so... It's locked. There's no door on here. Combat knife, take that. Rags. Can hear him outside. I think we should be, should be alright in here. Try and get away from that door. Quite a few of them outside. That's got to be at least three or four now. If I get into a fight with three or four walkers, I am dead. I'm not going to survive um, three or four, I can tell you that now. Coming down to this farmhouse was not the best idea. Oh my god, he's so close. I'm just gonna chill here. I'm gonna wait. Wait for Mist to go. Hopefully, they'll move on. Is that it? Is it over? Yeah, the Mist is gone. There we go, survive boys. Let's push it out a little bit before we survive. Fuck. Oh, there's still one out there. Oh, he's lost. I think he's looking for me. I am not dying on the first episode. <laughs> There's no chance. I dropped two of these. Okay. Oh, it's locked. There's two locked doors now that I found. That could have been a core base. Alright. What we got here? A water barrel, nice. 
Right, I'm hoping we can get some wood from this. Doing something. Tell you that much. Free bark. Oh, that's really good. Ah. Oh. Gonna wait. Why can I not pick it up? Oh, my inventory. Wait, is that just gonna go in my inventory? <laughs> Start build. Boom! There we go. <laughs> That was a mission and we finished just as it's about to hit night time. Perfect ending to the first episode. So this was Miss Survival Guys episode one permadeath. Um, we're not looking too hot right now. We are very badly injured. Nearly dead. <laughs> like I said, if we can hit 30 likes, I would definitely make a episode two. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys and I will see you in the next one.